Hi friends, today I want to share with you how to put a permanent shelf in where there might have been peg holes for um, adjusting the shelf, but it isn't staying in well. So um, I, when I bought the house, um, this shelf in particular has always, there's always been a gap on the side, like they cut the shelf too uh, skinny, and so when we would put these little pegs in, there's a, such a big gap that they would put pressure on them. They had plastic ones in, like this kind, and they would, they're supposed to latch in, but they, they're because of the gap on both sides, and you can't really see that one over there, but there's a good gap on, on either side. So um, I've been fighting it for years, and I have these Tupperware totes that I like to have on the bottom shelf and then I would put other things on the top shelf but it would always fall down and lay on top of these and then I couldn't get these out without having to pull out the whole thing and I've tried um, probably five different types of things. I actually even cut some um, knitting needles longer so that it, maybe it would hold it up and it never has. So this was my next solution is these brackets. These are corner brackets for desk for um, drawers that come apart like you can put them on the inside of the drawers. I had to do that on this one. You can see that it broke. The front got pulled off. The kid's hanging on it or whatever. So you put the brackets on the inside of the drawer right in. <laughs> Like, that's my junk drawer in my kitchen right there so um, that's what those are they're um, this package is one inch um, corner brass Stanley brand but they sell them all different lengths and all different sizes um, but I was worried about a longer one having too much pressure and popping out of the wood so I got these smaller ones hoping that it would be sufficient I don't put a lot of weight on this one anyway so basically you just screw them in. Don't screw them in where the hole is because if you screw them in the hole, you don't have as much support. So what I did is I measured them all to the top of that and then screwed them in there. You could flip them around and have them hang upside down, but depending on how much space you have here, it might catch on the screw. So I just did them that way because um, I thought they might hold better um, Whereas on the bottom, if you flip them around and the, and the weight is on the bottom, it might, if it's too much weight, it might pull the screw out that way. So I figured it was better on top so that all the weight is on the top of the evenly. So that's why I screwed them in that way versus hanging upside down because I figured the, the weight on the shelf would be better all evenly on the top. So anyway, that's how you do it. It was super easy. Just make sure the screw's going in straight when you screw it in. So you only need four of the eight screws that come with it, and I just screwed it in that way, and um, <laughs> you can see it there, and it sits evenly, and I can put pressure on it, and it's awesome. I'm really excited that I came up with this solution, because uh, other than that, I was going to have a new board cut, but this matches, and I don't use this cover too often anyway. So um, check out my blog. I'll take some pictures and do a little bit more detailed description. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Check out my blog, thesecretisgratitude.com, and my YouTube channel is The Secret is Gratitude. And I have um, lots and lots of helpful hints on the house and yard uh, similar to this one. So check it out. Thanks for watching, and have a blessed day.